committee was originally set, I, and I don't know if it was before you were on the board or after the board, is we wanted to try to, to create a equal learning experience for all elementary uh, school, whether it's Muscoot Elementary, Scott Elementary, or Wingate Elementary. And you know, there's right now there's the current schedule, there's a large gap, there's almost what, 50 minutes changing in between K2 and 3-5. And that's a, that has, has, has grown over time out of A, state requirements that differ between those grades. We don't get to say that, somebody at the state does, right? And you hope that those people are relatively smart in the education well, the, groups they, out there. They produce and, minimums. And, and Kenny out here, who's got to deal with the outcome of moving all those kids around. Which he's, he's, and he's done a wonderful job of getting all of our kids all around, but he's got a job of managing buses and equipment and people to make that happen, which is why there are minor differences between them. And I understand that. I personally think we could probably work something out with that. But the next phase of all of this is I have safety concerns at the grade schools of now doubling or near doubling the number of people there, the number of bobbleheads that are coming out of those doors all at once. It is semi-controlled chaos now. I can't imagine adding 80% to it. I think there's a plan in place for that. Is then it? show me. I mean, am I wrong? Show me the plan. The plan is in here someplace because I saw something about letting him out certain doors at certain times and other groups out certain doors at other times. It's in there. It's, it's in here. I saw it. Didn't we, in the building committee meeting, didn't we just, when we were talking about busing and everything, didn't we agree that we wanted to make it normalized? Didn't you, you even said that, you go, I don't know. Normalized between the schools, yes. Yeah. Be between each of the other, but we schools. but we won't be able to we we physically would not be able to bus all the kids. We would have to drastically increase our bus fleet, Mr. Norner said, in order to. No, he didn't say that. To be able to bus the kids from. It's not what he said. Kenny's here. Oh yeah. Well, I personally have no problem at all with extending the elementary class time, because what I hear you saying, Cindy is that we're going to add more art, music, things like that to these children on a daily basis. Uh, and I think that's a great thing. I think that's a great thing. I think that will help their creativity. Uh, it's a given fact that people who, students who participate in music do better academically. Uh, I, I, just, I think it's a good thing. I, I agree with you. But until we see the detail plan, which includes costs and manpower, I just don't think it's a wise decision to make today. We've heard that it's not going to increase manpower. And we've heard that it probably won't have an impact on costs. Kenny says we're not going to add, add any bus routes. I think that's all we Partially have to reducing. worry about. We're yeah, reducing. reducing bus routes. Mm -hmm. It's not our job to get down in the weeds and deal with these details as a board. That's why we pay these guys. That's their job. I mean, the whole staff, not right. just. Right. I mean, the well, whole administrative team, yeah. the teachers, staff. Well, I think that once we pass this, then the planning goes in place. I don't know that there's a whole. They've got it penciled out, but until we pass it, they can't move forward and put anything in stone. Well, well, if we, we pass this, yeah, we got to pass this for them to move they forward. They can show us what it looks like today. 